myself and my husband actually met and talked to a few parents uh, when we were doing our look see, and um, he was really impressed with the very strong sense of community from everybody he spoke mm -hmm. with. When we're doing a lot of class projects and things that require us to work together in, in teams really early on, and I think that that's what is different from other schools. I think this really prepares us for the world because in the future there won't only be one way to look at something but dozens and we need to learn to use all of these different methods. We know that when a five-year-old comes into school they laugh a lot, they ask a lot of questions, they're curious, they're creative. An eight-year-old asks a few less questions, is a little bit less curious, a 14-year-old even less again. And it goes down, and it continues to go down all the way through our life until we retire, it goes up again. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the children coming out of grade 12 are as curious as the children coming in? So essentially the point is that this relevance gap continues to grow and will continue to grow. So a school like ISD has the opportunity to at least close that gap. I don't think any school in the world will ever completely have this sort of total carte blanche freedom to, to, uh, to match that learning curve, but you certainly have the opportunity to be a leader. I guess I would point to the International School of Brussels as just an example, just case study. You know, this is a very strong IB school. Um, they, they have seen no drop in performance. They've seen only uh, more well-rounded experiences for students. So uh, what the spaces are allowing are them to do everything they did before, but differentiate through a, a variety of, of spaces that allow uh, students some choice in terms of where and how they, they learn, uh, some variety of spaces in terms of how teachers structure learning activities that sort of uh, um, tackle multiple modalities, different intelligences and so forth. So it's, it's giving more options than, than what they had before. <laughs> We also think that piloting will be a good idea. What do we need to do or what needs to change in the method of teaching? Flexible spaces is going to uh, would increase the collaboration. Right, and I could be using my, my resources somewhere else in that space with others while they were just feeding off of each other. I, I really believe in the role of the teacher and just inspiring you and giving you, like, I don't know, a sense of passion in what you want to learn. And we were very impressed. Um, with first graders, the way they weren't sitting around facing the class board, class board at the top of the class, and we're very impressed with the holistic approach. Where we are, at the very, very beginnings of getting that process started. Well, we'll hopefully see you in the near future. Yeah. As you keep going. Thank you. Thank you.